Hello, 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 guys. I hope you are doing well enough in your life, and I'm very happy that you are still watching the valuable content because I'm providing the content with the help of pictures. Yeah, definitely. So that you will never forget such type of valuable content from your mind. So let's discuss the mother board. It is a mother board. Okay, it is not like that. Mother. Okay, motherboard. Uh, okay, so let's go and discuss. Don't get me wrong. So a motherboard in a computer hardware, okay, is like the central hub of a computer. It is a big circuit board that all the other parts of your computer, of my computer, connect to. That think of it as the computer's nervous system, the CPU, the brain of this computer. and okay memory ram storage drives graphic card and the other components all plug into the motherboard it helps them work together by following them to communicate and share data okay so your computer can perform task and run software so it motherboard connects all the important aspect all the important parts of the computer hardware okay so that your computer can perform very well faster the motherboard is essential for your computer to function okay and it determines what other parts you can use in your system so now let's understand how actually motherboard works in computer hardware the motherboard in computer hardware serves as the central communication hub that connects and coordinates all the different parts of a computer okay so let's go and discuss one by one component connection first of all the motherboard has various connectors and slots where essential computer com- computer components are physically attached these components include the central processing unit random access memory storage drives okay graphic card network cards and so on when you open the motherboard okay you will see a lot of hub a lot of connectors so data transfer the motherboard contains contains a complex network of pathway and circuits that allow data to flow between these components data in the form of electrical signals is exchanged between the cpu ram and the other parts view these pathways it ensures that all parts of the computer can work together yeah together power distribution the motherboard also distribute electrical power to all the attached component it has connectors that link to the power supply unit to deliver the right amount of electricity to each part of the computer system bios and uefi we will discuss this term in next video what is bios and uefi okay the motherboard okay the motherboard contains a small programs known as the basic input output system okay it is called a bios or the unified extensible firmware interface okay this program initializes the hardware during startup performs or a self check and leads the operating system from your storage device expansion slot motherboard often have expansion slots where you can add extra components like graphic card sound card and networking cards to enhance the computer's capability ports and connectors motherboard come with various ports and connector on the back panel which allow you to plug in external device like usb drives monitor keyboard and mic as well as so here are two other clock and timing control the motherboard includes a clock generator okay that synchronizes the timing of the components ensuring that the data is processed in a coordinated and orderly fashion okay fashion it is fashion cooling and power management motherboards often have features related to cooling such as fan he- headers to connect 
cooling fans. They also include the power management features to regulate and power consumptions of the system. So I conclude this thing in overall the motherboard serves as the backbone of your computer ensuring that all the hardware components work together. Okay. It provides the necessary connections, data, pathways and control functions to enable your computer to boot up, run software and perform tasks efficiently. Different, okay? different motherboards offer various features and capabilities catering to different needs and preferences in the world of computer hardware is going on day by day so thank you very much for watching our video we will discuss every single terminology in computer so that you will understand the deep knowledge of computer thank you very much